Hey guys, it's Jamie here from Pulse Barbecue, and today at the pit, I'm gonna teach you how to properly light the pit barrel cooker to get long-lasting, consistent temperatures. I'm gonna put all the show notes for you in the description box below, so make sure to click down there for everything that you need to know. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing uh, for great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And other than that, let's get doing this. All right, so to get your pit barrel cooker started, you're gonna to need to remove your charcoal basket. And uh, that's what this is. We also have the ash catcher on the bottom of that as well. And you're gonna to wanna to just fill the charcoal basket all the way up uh, until it's level with the edges here. So pour your charcoal briquettes in, and this is just over one full uh, chimney of briquettes. The pit Barrel does recommend using Kingsford charcoal. If you can't find that at your local store, then you can pick up something comparable like Royal Oak, uh, something that's pressed, but make sure you do not use any match light briquettes as it will cause a lot of problems for you. And so once you have your, your charcoal basket full, you're gonna take out a 40, of the briquettes and if you have one of these uh, pit barrel chimney starters uh, all you have to do is just fill it up to the top so once you got your, your charcoal all sorted out uh, you're going to place uh, the charcoal basket into the bottom of the barrel then you're going to place one of your grilling racks into the grill and uh, place your chimney starter on top of that under your chimney starter, uh, make sure to also put in a couple sheets of newspaper to get it started. Then after you light it, you're gonna let those briquettes get hot for about 15 minutes. So once your briquettes have been uh, heating for about 15 minutes, it's now time to take them off the grill grate and place them uh, place the hot coals into the, the coal basket on top of the unlit coals. So once you got all your coals in there, you're just gonna put your rods into the grill. And lastly, get that lid on. Then once you got your lid on, you're just gonna uh, go to the bottom and make sure your damper is open to where you need it. Uh, we have it just cracked open a little bit because we're right at sea level and that's all we need. So that's how you properly light the pit barrel cooker to get long lasting, consistent temperatures. I hope that helped you out. Uh, let me know in the comment section below how it turned out for you and uh, make sure to subscribe for great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. We'll see you next time.